All right, everyone, fancy zones, power toys, four minutes. I'm gonna break down everything you need to know about my favorite feature, enabling you to build custom layouts with rows and columns to snap your windows to. So tune in. Hey everyone, I'm James and I'm back with a shorter video this time all about fancy zones inside of Power Toys, one of my favorite applications on Windows as a developer and also as a user of Windows. Now, I did a long form version of this and that is not gonna be this. I'm gonna try to break down everything in just a few minutes, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is install Power Toys. This is gonna enable you to get a whole bunch of utilities, including fancy zones. Install Power Toys from here or if you want to, head into the Microsoft Store and search for Power Toys. That's gonna give you everything you need to get started installing and streamlining your Windows 10 and Windows 11 experience with awesome snapping. All right, now once you have that, you're gonna get this Welcome to Power Toys. It'll give you an overview of all the features, including fancy zones, which is nice. Now this just comes up once, and what you'll normally see is the settings window here. And this is what you'll see when you launch Power Toys, enabling you to check for updates and run your application. And I like specifically to always run at startup, especially with Fancy Zones. Over here is Fancy Zones, and this is gonna enable you to enable it, customize it, tweak, uh, uh, tweak the settings, and optimize layouts to your liking. So what is a Fancy Zone? Well, I'm gonna hold down Shift and start to move this around. I can easily come in with Shift automatically decide where my windows are. If I get rid of shift, boom, it's good to go. If I open another application, boom, snap it immediately, snap it immediately. Just like that, I'm able to create a custom layout on my Windows machine. So how do I do that? Well, we're gonna get into the editor and the layout, but I wanna show you that you can completely customize it here. The layout zones, you hold down shift to activate that zone. You can also use your non-primary mouse to toggle zone activation too which is really nice. And there's all sorts of customization here. The zone appearance, the opacity that you have. Here you can customize the window behavior. I mean, there is fine tuning to exact likings that you want inside of here. You can do window switching with page up and page down with the windows key, and you can customize this too. You can override window snap, and you can even enable quick layout switch and flash those zones when uh, switching layouts. Finally, over here, you can exclude apps if you never want that to happen. But let's go into the most important section here, which is the layout editor. Now, what we see here is that there's a bunch of templates that ship with Power Toys and Fancy Zones. So here, if I want to, I can come in and look at a priority grid and see right here that this is now my priority grid setup. If I wanted normal grid or rows, just like that, we have this set up. Now, the other thing I'll note here is that there's spacing in here by default. Some people don't want that, so hit that edit button and you'll be able to toggle that on and off. See that right there, on and off. You can enable more zones or less zones inside of here, but these are the templates, so they don't let you modify it too much besides that spacing. But you can duplicate it or you can create your own layout. Now, this enables you to have a custom layout with a grid or canvas, which enables you to have overlapping zones if you wanna get real fancy with it. Now I'm gonna do a grid and we're gonna hit create. Now this is a little floating box, that's important information, but definitely leave that open. If you hit save and apply, it's gonna come back to this screen. And what you'll need to do is either right click and say edit zones or click this edit button and then edit it again. Now I wanna show you that you can also set layout shortcut keys there too, and of course turn on and off that space, so up to you. All right, let's edit this. And now what I'm gonna do is notice here that I can come in and automatically Fancy Zones is telling me to split this, just like that. That's pretty cool. If I wanna reunite these, I'm just gonna drag the zones together and hit Merge. I love that it tells me my pixel density there so I get everything I want if I'm doing recordings. I can split this up into three zones, I can move things around, everything that I want, to get real customized there too. Now, let's say that you want to not split this like this, you wanna split it the other way. Hold down the shift and boom, you're splitting it the other way automatically, which is super nice. And again, I can come in, merge these together, and just like that, I've created my own fancy zone and hit save and apply. Now, when I exit out of here and I bring back up applications, 
I can snap them to all of my windows just like that. And this is a thing of beauty, especially when you're developing, using a lot of tools, doing anything inside of your machine. Now, of course, there's tons of options inside of Fancy Zones, so be sure to come in and really look around at all of the little options that you have available, but I love Fancy Zones so much. Look at this. It's just amazing. All right, that's Fancy Zones in just a few minutes. I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial, and if you have any questions about Fancy Zones, leave them below, and I'll get back to you, and of course, install it from Docs or from the store, and if you like this video, Give it a thumbs up and jam that subscribe button because I have more developer tips and also Windows tips and tricks here right on my channel every single week. And thanks for watching.